take a moment and study the listing of numbers given. We want to know of these numbers which ones are natural numbers. Remember your set of natural numbers it begins with 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So let's find the natural numbers. 0 is not a natural number. 1 is and 7 is, and those are the only two natural numbers I see. Let's move on to whole numbers. The only difference between these two sets of numbers is that the whole number contains the number 0, which is in this set. So natural numbers in this set would be 0, 1, and 7. And then what about the integers? The integers contain the natural numbers and their opposites and also 0. So let's list the integers. Negative 5, negative 1, 0. That's not an integer. 1 is an integer. 7 is an integer. That's not. That's not an integer. And that's not an integer. There are my integers. Now let's write down the rational numbers. Remember a number is a rational number if it can be written in the form a over b, where a and b are integers, but b, the denominator, is not 0. So negative 5 is a rational number. Negative 1, 0. 1 fourth is a rational number. 1, 7, 11 and 6 tenths is a rational number. Now, square root of 7 is not a rational number, and neither is 3 pi. Those are irrational numbers. The square root of 7 cannot be written in the form a over b, where a and b are integers, and b is not 0. Neither can 3 pi. By the way, a number is either rational or it's irrational. And then what about real numbers? Every number listed here would be a real number. So all of these numbers, I will not list them, but all of those numbers are real numbers.